After serving three years in prison, Tyson was paroled on March 25, 1995, and soon hold a short press conference that would announce his return to boxing. After much debate over who would be Tyson's first opponent in his comeback, it was announced that Tyson would face little-known Peter McNeely on August 19, 1995. In 1995, Peter McNeely wasn't a well-known fighter but had actually cracked the top 20 in the WBA rankings the year before. Hurricane Peter McNeely had a record of 36-1 with 30 knockouts, 21 of those coming in the first round. And McNeely, as advertised, comes right at Mike Tyson. Down goes McNeely! Tyson was able to avoid McNeely's wild punches and land a straight right that dropped McNeely to the canvas less than 10 seconds into the fight. Less than 20 seconds later, Tyson landed a right uppercut that again sent McNeely down. McNeely's hurt this time, Steve. He's very hurt. He can barely stand up. With McNeely clearly hurt from the exchange, his manager entered the ring to prevent McNeely from taking any more damage, causing Lane to end the fight and award Tyson the victory by disqualification.